Uh, 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 oh, jeez. Uh. What a way to kick off a video, huh? Yeah, it could be worse, I suppose. I guess I'll have to fight them all again. Because I'm pretty sure that they, uh, they respawn. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure they do. Now, if you have the silver cat ring, you can actually plunge attack onto one of the ones in the big open room. And, uh, you'll still take a lot of health damage, but... I at least just drink my Estus. Could you stop? Please stop. I don't even know how you're supposed to actually fight these things. Other than by purely o just overpowering them. It's, it's really annoying. Every time they move, though, it's, it's like a... Uh... Oh, come on. Okay. Might be time to upgrade my weapons. <laughs> I mean, now that I can, sort of. Of course, I just lost like another 50,000 souls or whatever. Of course.
No, I don't think they're susceptible to bleed. Ah, well. Whoa. Let's just run through here and get the items. Because, like, if they respawn, I'm not going to bother killing all of them. Fire Drake Stone, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Hawk Ring, uh, okay. Okay, so, and like, if you put out the fires, as far as I know, you don't get anything for it, so... And I burned to death. Okay. Oh, I didn't burn to death. Okay, I'll take it. I'll, I'll chug three Estus. I don't care. Ow. Phantom required a head. What? Nah. Oh, this guy gets his own. I guess he would be, he's like the expected first boss. Some people theorize that this giant was like the imprisoned former king of the giants did his height. I guess I can see that, but at the same time, like, look how many swords and things have been shoved through him. To me, it seems more like they tried to kill him. I mean, he does have shackles on his ankles, but... Rip your arm off, come on. Alright, he does actually have blood, how about that? Yeah, he's intended to be the first boss. And the main reason to kill him is to get that key. opens this door which leads out here where there's like if you came here first and you thoroughly explored this place it'd be the first time you came across the door that said uh, present the symbol of the king or whatever Like I, I have the symbol of the king. It's it's right here. Please just open. Oh, look, they put a bonfire here. How courteous of them. See how many more bonfires we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bonfires? I guess, what, like, there's one for each DLC area, so that's three.
So here we go, into another memory. Whose giant memory will this be? Memory of J. J. Something. Not a giant soul? Or soul of a giant? Ow. What the hell is... That's a giant with a face? Look, this giant has a face! That. He's got teeth and everything. Ow. Now this giant kinship item that we got, that's actually the item that we need uh, to beat the game. It'll let you cross over the, uh, the throne. Soul of a Giant. So that was Jay. Another just run of the mill bloke, huh? Let's see, how many Souls of a Giant is that so far? I'm up to three. One of them actually comes from the ancient dragon. For some reason. And... Ah, uh, the fifth one? There must be another giant memory somewhere that I've missed.
let's see. Excuse me, bad guys. This is a familiar scene, isn't it? Now normally there would be a boss right here, the Pursuer, but since I killed him on the first encounter, he's not there, so... like this. Fate just won't let us stay apart. Volshi. <laughs> See, the old sword's caught your attention. That has been in my family for generations. They say it has crafted with moonlight. And we all know what that means. It wards off evil. And I wouldn't trade her for... It said that no man has ever teased out the sword's true power, but... And the right horns. <laughs> I see you've taken a light, but this is one sort, pal. If you still are, then you will have to part. Have a great day to you. I've been hard. Swear by my. Have a great day. I've been. Now, if I'd talked to him here, I guess he would have helped me against. He could have been available to help me against the giant lord. Or he would have actually been in the memory. Something like that. Let's see, another giant memory. This must be, must be the one I forgot about. Oh, okay, he's inside this memory. How about that? Oh, look at you, old friend. I see your travels, mate. Just remember, my homeland and this sword, yeah, we, I know who swords them. My homeland is, and this, I know. Just a guy. Don't have fun now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that was nice. Nice little short memory. Just saw the giant. some pretty nice armor here. It's also a nice shield. It's one of the few shields in the game. And I think one of the only medium shields in the game that actually has 100% physical block. And if you came from Dark Souls 1 and shields were important to you, then that would be very important to you. Which is another reason this is considered the starting area, because the pursuer would be your second boss, and then, you know, you'd get that shield, and then voila. Okay, 
Now this is also the other way that you can get to the Lost Bastille. Or Bastille, or however you want to say it. A big old bird will carry you. And it actually drops you off in a section of the Lost Bastille that you can't access otherwise. So that's another good reason to go through the forest of fallen giants. Some human effigy. Got a bonfire here. Oh, the doll ember, huh? Yeah, also basically though. If uh if you don't go through the forest of fallen giants, then you can't get uh smithing upgrades as far as I know. So yeah, that's another reason to go through it. It's uh Cause McDuff, even though you can get him on his anvil. He won't do any upgrades or infusions for you until you get the Doll Ember. Which I think the Doll Ember in the original version of the game is actually in the old Iron Castle. But, uh. Yeah, in this version, it's in this section of the Lost Bastille. So. You know, not really a, uh. Hi. Seems fair. Hey, I killed like the normal version of you and like all your other friends. Hey, ow. Ow, come on now. Oh, he got me. Oh no, oh no. Pursuer jerk. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but it didn't hit me. And also, I don't know how I caught him on my backswing there, but. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. So now I can finally upgrade weapons. Boom. Craftsman hammer. Yeehaw. And we can also upgrade armor, I guess. So, eh.
Yeah, works for me. Cyan got ones, maybe? Yeah, it works for me. I ought to fetch a new flag. Yeah, it looks like it follows the same reinforcement rules as the first game. 10% of the, the base damage every time you upgrade a standard weapon. So you can make some of these things pretty strong. Be gone. 